His face was once a regular presence on the airwaves. The founder and former CEO of his namesake restaurant. Now to that breaking news overnight, Papa John's founder resigned. Papa John's shares fell nearly 5% Wednesday. The face of Papa John's pizza is changing. Forced out of the company he founded. It's a racial slur admitted using the N-word. Schnatter using the N-word. Adam Schnatter has tapes that he says tell his side of the story as he tries to repair his reputation. What happened to Papa John and how did TikTok revive his career? Papa John, the daddy of pizza, the prince of pepperoni, once rose to glory through his delicious and mouth-watering pizza, now being left to a hollow shell of himself. Mm. Just what exactly happened to this man? What had gone down along the way? And had he ever found his way back again? Hello, hello. Good day, everyone. I'm your foodie guide, and welcome to the Foodie Channel. So, in this video, we will be focusing on John Schnatter, how he rose and fell, and what has happened ever since. So if you're curious about this controversial dude, please, oh please, stick around and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, with no further ado, let's head on to Papa John's story. Schnatter began serving pies to customers in 1984 after converting a broom closet behind his father's pub in Jeffersonville, Indiana into a makeshift pizzeria. Having made sacrifices to help improve his makeshift company, it didn't take long for his pies to become so popular that he was able to move into an adjacent location. Fun fact, by the time it went public in 1993, it had spread to over 1,500 locations. Following his business's success, Schnatter started his reputation as a figure of controversy. In 2012, many accused him of threatening to raise the cost of pizza if then-President Barack Obama didn't repeal his Affordable Care Act, despite being extremely rich and threatening to cut employees' hours to avoid paying for their health care. Another instance in 2017 showed that people criticized his statements regarding NFL players protesting during the national anthem. His comments were not warmly received and were so severe that Schnatter resigned as CEO of Papa John's Pizza after the scandal broke though he continued to serve the firm as a chairman nevertheless. However, in 2018, things went further downhill for Mr. Schnatter, to the point that nothing would ever be the same for him again. Hmm, what do you think happened? Comment down below with your thoughts. Well, let's go back to the story and unfold what happened in July of 2018. When John was asked on a conference call a few months earlier in May, he was asked how he meant to distance himself from racist groups, but he offhandedly used the N-word in response to the question. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. However, as you might have guessed, it was the wrong move. This information began to make its way into the public eye. Colonel Sanders called blacks the N-word, he said, as an obvious way of downplaying his previous NFL remarks. And then complained that Sanders had never faced public backlash for his comments. They get away with it. He supposedly did it to make it seem as though his last remarks were less offensive than they were. That was definitely not the case. They removed John Schnatter's image from all Papa John's marketing materials in the following weeks. He has since backtracked on his use of the word and sued the company for unfair dismissal. There's a difference between using the word as a slur and demeaning someone by calling them that word, said his attorney. The following month, Schnatter took matters into his own hands. In addition to the lawsuit, he decided to form the Save Papa John's website. But would you like to know what the Save Papa John's website said? Well, it said, quote, I built Papa John's from the ground up and remained its largest shareholder. I love my company, its employees, franchisees, and customers. The homepage boldly declared before it was eventually removed, probably due to legal reasons. Again, quote, the board wants to silence me. So this is my website and my way to talk to you. 
Unfortunately, by 2019, it was all over for Schnatter. More than a year after his forced resignation, he finally broke his silence regarding his previous employer in an horrendous and bizarre interview with a Louisville television station affiliated with Fox News. Schnatter, as is his custom, did little to help his cause. Stay tuned. The day of reckoning will come, come, come. By accusing the board of directors and the previous CEO, Steve Ritchie, of exploiting the black community and race as a, quote, means to take the company. And later that Christmas, Schnatter's wife of more than 30 years filed for divorce. It was like all hell broke loose for him. Since then, the former Prince of Pepperoni has refused to accept a just cancellation. Oh, no, no. Instead, he threw constant tantrums about the declining quality of Papa John's pizza in his absence. He even declared to have eaten 40 pizzas in 30 days. It's not the same pizza. It's not the same product. It just doesn't taste as good. And in an appearance on a cable news network, he claimed that he was trying to, quote, get rid of this N-word in my vocabulary. So, based on the title of this video, you can pretty much tell where he decided to go next. That's right. You guessed it. His most recent effort was an experimental alternate reality game, or ARG taking place on TikTok for the past 10 months. And there, people know him as at the Papa John Schnatter. However, his story continues to be dark, and he even almost started a cult that calls him Papa. But with regard to his TikTok, it was an ambitious project that blurred the line between reality and fiction, wherein mixed media and lived interactions were left to tell a haunting story. The work functioned as both a critique of creator culture and a harrowing peek into the psyche. And surprised to say, his posts went viral. With constant shifts between a face with a vacant look in his eye and a hollow smile, and the next of him as a red-faced man who's perpetually out of breath and drenched in sweat, people began wondering, what happened to Papa John? Who was he? And whether Papa John meant for this to revive his career or something else entirely, we may never know. So what do you think? Did he deserve everything he'd gone through? Or do you feel he deserves some sympathy? Should we forgive him? Hmm. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hopefully, John will have learned his lesson and will strive to become a better person than he ever was in the past. Some may wish him good riddance, and some may hope for a remarkable recovery. Only time will tell. But until then, we will continue waiting. Thanks for sticking around. If you haven't already, click that subscribe and notification button, guaranteeing more content such as this. Until then, I'm your foodie guide, and I'll be seeing you next time.